Hello. In this episode, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from 2 Samuel 18, 31 through 33. 2 Samuel 18, 31 through 33 says, And behold, the Cushite came, and the Cushite said, Good news for my lord the king, for the Lord has delivered you this day from the hand of all those who rose up against you. The king said to the Cushite, Is it well with the young man Absalom? And the Cushite answered, May the enemies of my lord the king and all who rise up against you for evil be like that young man. And the king was deeply moved and went up to the chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, he said, O oh, my son Absalom, O oh, my son, my son Absalom, would I had died instead of you, O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. While David was king over Israel, he had his encounter with Bathsheba, and Nathan the prophet came to him and told him that the sin that he did in private would be revisited upon him in public. This happens when Absalom launches a revolt against David. Absalom, David's son, tries to usurp him, and he takes his wives, his concubines, as his own. As David runs from Absalom, a war begins as Absalom tries to steal the throne from David. As we consider the end result of that narrative, we'll find three thoughts for us to consider from 2 Samuel 18, 31 through 33. Thought number one, David defeats Absalom. So this usurping of the throne by Absalom ultimately fails. He spends years developing a following so that he might oust King David, but ultimately Absalom is defeated and his army is dispersed and spread out. David wins the battle against Absalom, but that battle that he wins is bittersweet at best. Thought number two, David is concerned for Absalom. David is concerned for the well-being of his son when he hears of the battle that's taken place between his army and Absalom's army. He wants to know not just how the battle went, but also how it fared for his son, his son that was trying to take the kingdom away from him. David's concern for Absalom is concern that fathers all understand and recognize that even when their son is doing something that they despise, something that they hate, a father will still be concerned for his son. Thought number three, David mourns for Absalom. So even though David has been betrayed by his flesh and blood, even though Absalom has launched this revolt against him and has tried to oust him, has even tried to kill his father David, David still mourns for him and had even ordered his armies not to kill him. David is utterly defeated in his soul because of the death of his son Absalom. He is crushed, and he mourns for his son, which once again is something that parents will understand. I think that in David's interaction with Absalom, we can see just a hint, just a shadow of the way our Heavenly Father acts towards us. Our Heavenly Father absolutely is capable of defeating us. That's easy enough. Our Heavenly Father also, though, is concerned for us. He is concerned for all of His creation. Our Heavenly Father mourns for us when we're lost. He grieves for His creation that rebels against Him. These three thoughts come to you from 2 Samuel 15 through 19, which is the reading for today. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can join the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading through the text of Scripture together.